A barn is an agricultural building primarily located on farms and used for many purposes, notably for the housing of livestock and storage of crops. In addition, barns may be used for equipment storage, as a covered workplace, such as threshing. The word barn is also used to describe buildings used for uses such as a tobacco barn or dairy barn. Byer is an archaic word for one type of barn meant for keeping cattle. Etymology The word barn comes from the Old English burr, for barley, and en, for a storage plus a euro thus, a storehouse for barley. A euro oe another word for barn in Old English was baritun, barley enclosure, also meaning a threshing floor. However, the common English name for a grain storage building now is granary. Modern barns may include a stable, from Latin stabulum a euro stall, fold, a via a euro unregistered trademark, buyer, a euro, or stall, a euro a. Place in a stable for animals, from Old English steel place where cattle are kept, place, position, and Proto-Germanic stollers, cf Old Norse stallr pedestal for idols, altar, Old Frisian stall, Old High German stall stand, place, stable, stall. German stall stable, stell place. Construction. In the U.S., older barns were built from timbers hewn from trees on the farm and built as a log crib barn or timber frame, although stone barns were sometimes built in areas where stone was a cheaper building material. In the mid to late 19th century and the U.S. barn framing methods began to shift away from traditional timber framing to truss framed, or plank framed buildings. Truss or plank framed barns reduced the number of timbers instead using dimensional lumber for the rafters, joists, and sometimes the trusses. The joints began to become bolted or nailed instead of being mortised and tenoned. The inventor and patentee of the Jennings barn claimed his design used less lumber, less work, less time, and less cost to build and were durable and provided more room for hay storage. Mechanization on the farm, better transportation infrastructure, and new technology like a hay fork mounted on a track contributed to a need for larger, more open barns. Sawmills using steam power could produce smaller pieces of lumber affordably, and machine cut nails were much less expensive than handmade nails. Concrete block began to be used for barns in the early 20th century in the U.S. Modern barns are more typically steel buildings. From about 1900 to 1940, many large dairy barns were built in northern USA. These commonly have gambrel or hip roofs to maximize the size of the hay loft above the dairy roof, and have become associated in the popular image of a dairy farm. The barns that were common to the wheat belt held large numbers of pulling horses such as Clydesdales or Percherons. These large wooden barns, especially when filled with hay, could make spectacular fires that were usually total losses for the farmers. With the advent of balers it became possible to store hay and straw outdoors in stacks surrounded by a plowed fireguard. Many barns in the northern United States are painted barn red with a white trim. One possible reason for this is that ferric oxide, which is used to create red paint, was the cheapest and most readily available chemical for farmers in New England and nearby areas. Another possible reason is that ferric oxide acts a preservative and so painting a barn with it would help to protect the structure. With the popularity of tractors following World War II many barns were taken down or replaced with modern Quonset huts made of plywood or galvanized steel. Beef ranches and dairies began building smaller loftless barns often of Quonset huts or of steel walls on a treated wood frame. By the 1960s it was found that cattle received sufficient shelter from trees or wind fences. Gallery of barns with different wall building materials. Uses, in older style barns, the upper area was used to store hay and sometimes grain. This is called the mow or the hayloft. A large door at the top of the ends of the barn could be opened up so that hay could be put in the loft. The hay was hoisted into the barn by a system containing pulleys and a trolley that ran along a track attached to the top ridge of the barn. Trap doors in the floor allowed animal feed to be dropped into the mangers for the animals. In New England it is common to find barns attached to the main farmhouse, allowing for chores to be done while sheltering the worker from the weather. In the middle of the 20th century the large broad roof of barns were sometimes painted with slogans in the United States. Most common of these were the 900 barns painted with ads for Rock City. 
In the past bands were often used for communal gatherings, such as band dances. Features A farm may have buildings of varying shapes and sizes used to shelter large and small animals and other uses. The enclosed pens used to shelter large animals are called stalls and may be located in the cellar or on the main level depending on the type of barn. Other common areas, or features, of an American barn include, a tack room, often set up as a brick room, a feed room, where animal feed is stored a year are not typically part of a modern barn where feed bales are piled in a stackyard, a drive bay, a wide corridor for animals or machinery, a silo where fermented grain or hay is stored. A milk house for dairy barns. An attached structure where the milk is collected and stored prior to shipment, a grain bin for dairy barns, found in the mow and usually made of wood with a chute to the ground floor providing access to the grain, making it easier to feed the cows. Modern barns often contain an indoor corral with a squeeze chute for providing veterinary treatment to sick animals. Derivatives, a physics term barn, which is a subatomic unit of area. 10 or 28 M2, came from experiments with uranium nuclei during World War II, wherein they were described colloquially as big as a barn, with the measurement officially adopted to maintain security around nuclear weapons research. Barn idioms, he couldn't hit the broad side of a barn is a popular expression for a person having poor aim when throwing an object or when shooting at something. To lock the barn door after the horse has bolted implies that one has solved a problem too late to prevent it. Were you born raised in a barn? Is an accusation used differently in various parts of the English-speaking world, but most commonly is a reprimand when someone exhibits poor manners by either using ill-mannered language, or leaving doors open. Your barn door is open is used as a euphemism to remind someone to zip the fly of their trousers. To barnstorm is to travel quickly around a large area making frequent public appearances. Types Barns have been classified by their function, structure, location, or other features. Sometimes the same building falls into multiple categories. Apple barn or fruit barn a euro for the storage of fruit crops, bank barn a euro a multi-level building built into a banking so the upper floor is accessible to a wagon, sometimes accessed by a bridge or ramp. Bridge barn or covered bridge barn a euro general terms for barns accessed by a bridge rather than a ramp. Boa Euro A sheep barn and dwelling in the Netherlands, seasonal or sometimes year-round. Pennsylvania barn of which there are subcategories such as standard and Schweitzer types. Also known as for bay or porch barns. Cantilever barn a Euro a type of log crib barn with cantilevered upper floor, S, which developed in Appalachia. Combination barn a Euro found throughout England, especially in areas of pastoral farming and the standard barn type in America. This general term means that barns were used for both crop storage and as a buyer to house animals. Crib barn a Euro horizontal log structures with up to four cribs found primarily in the southern USA. Drying barns for drying crops in Finland and Sweden are called rea and rea, respectively. New World Dutch barn a Euro an ancient barn type in the US. Also see Dutch barn in other farm buildings section below. New England barn a common style of barn found in rural New England and in the U.S., English barn, also called a Yankee or Connecticut barn a Euro an ancient and widespread barn type in the U.S., granary a Euro to store grain after it is threshed. Some barns contain a room called a granary, some barns like a rice barn blur the line between a barn and granary. House barn, also called a buyer dwelling a Euro a combined living space and barn, relatively common in old Europe but rare in North America. Also, longhouses were house barns. Pole barn a euro a simple structure that consists of poles embedded in the ground to support a roof, with or without exterior walls. The pole barn lacks a conventional foundation, thus greatly reducing construction costs. Traditionally used to house livestock, hay or equipment. Potato barn or potato house a euro a semi-subterranean or two-story building for storage of potatoes or sweet potatoes. Prairie barn a Euro a general term for barns in the western U.S., rice barn and the related winnowing barn, round barn, built in a round shape the term often is generalized to the include polygonal barn and octagonal barn, swing beam barn a Euro a rare barn type in part of the U.S. designed for threshing with animals walking around a pole held by a swing beam inside the barn. 
Tobacco barn a euro for drying of tobacco leaves. Tithe barn a euro a type of barn used in much of Northern Europe and the Middle Ages for storing the tithes a euro a tenth of the farm's produce which had to be given to the church. Threshing barn a euro built with a threshing floor for the processing and storage of cereals, to keep them in dry conditions. Characterized by large double doors in the center of one side, a smaller one on the other, and storage for cereal harvest or unprocessed on either side. In England the grain was beaten from the crop by flails and then separated from the husks by winnowing between these doors. The design of these typically remained unchanged between the 12th and 19th centuries. The large doors allow for a horse wagon to be driven through. The smaller ones allow for the sorting of sheep and other stock in the spring and summer. Other farm buildings often associated with barns, carriage house a euro cart shed, Dutch barn a euro an open-sided structure for hay storage. The type with a movable roof is called a hay barrack in the US or a huiberg in the Netherlands. A corn crib a euro a well-ventilated storage space for dried ears of maize. A granary or hectocube de rario a euro a storage space for threshed grains, sometimes within a barn or as a separate building. Linhay a euro a shed, often with a lean-do roof but may be a circular linhay to store hay on the first floor with either cattle on the ground floor, or farm machinery. Characterized by an open front with regularly spaced posts or pillars. Milk room or milk house a euro to store milk. Oast houses a euro an outbuilding used for drying hops as part of the brewing process. Shelter sheds a euro open fronted structures for stock, ship on a euro a shed which houses oxen and cattle. Has fodder storage above, regularly spaced doors on the yard side, a pitching door or window on the first floor. Stable a euro usually for housing horses. Historic farm buildings. Old farm buildings of the countryside contribute to the landscape and help define the history of the location, that is how farming took place in the past, and how the area has been settled throughout the ages. They also can show the agricultural methods, building materials, and skills that were used. Most were built with materials reflecting the local geology of the area. Building methods include earth walling and thatching. Buildings in stone and brick, roofed with tile or slate, increasingly replaced buildings in clay, timber and thatch from the later 18th century. Metal roofs started to be used from the 1850s. The arrival of canals and railways brought about transportation of building materials over greater distances. Clues determining their age and historical use can be found from old maps, sale documents, estate plans, and from a visual inspection of the building itself, noting reused timbers, former floors, partitions, doors and windows. The arrangement of the buildings within the farmstead can also yield valuable information on the historical farm usage and landscape value. Linear farmsteads were typical of small farms, where there was an advantage to having cattle and fodder within one building, due to the colder climate. Dispersed clusters of unplanned groups were more widespread. Loose courtyard plans built around a yard were associated with bigger farms, whereas carefully laid out courtyard plans designed to minimize waste and labor were built in the latter part of the 18th century. The barns are typically the oldest and biggest buildings to be found on the farm. Many barns were converted into cow houses and fodder processing and storage buildings after the 1880s. Many barns had owl holes to allow for access by barn owls, encouraged to aid vermin control. The stable is typically the second oldest building type on the farm. They were well built and placed near the house due to the value that the horses had as draft animals. Modern granaries were built from the 18th century. Complete granary interiors, with plastered walls and wooden partitioning to grain bins, are very rare. Longhouses are an ancient building where people and animals used the same entrance. These can still be seen, for example, in North Germany, where the Low Saxon house occurs. Few interiors of the 19th century cow houses have survived unaltered due to dairy hygiene regulations in many countries. Old farm buildings may show the following signs of deterioration, rotting and timber framed constructions due to damp, cracks in the masonry from movement of the walls, for example ground movement, roofing problems, foundation problems, penetration of tree roots, lime mortar being washed away due to inadequate weather protection. 
walls made of cob, earth mortars or walls with rubble cores are all highly vulnerable to water penetration, and replacement or covering of breathable materials with cement or damp proofing materials may trap moisture within the walls. In England and Wales some of these historical buildings have been given listed building status, which provides them some degree of archaeological protection. Some grant schemes are available to restore historic farmland buildings, for example Natural England's Environmental Stewardship, Countryside Stewardship and Environmentally Sensitive Areas Schemes. See also, Barn Church, Q, Barn Conversion, Barn Raising, Barnyard, Farmhouse, Functionally Classified Barn, Gin Gang or Roundhouse a Euro an extension to a threshing barn. It contained a horse-driven engine, used to power a threshing machine. Sometimes called a wheelhouse. Water power and wind power were also used to drive the machine, and by the 1850s portable steam engine machines were used. Horse engines, original threshing or winnowing machines are exceptionally rare. Hayrack, Historic Barns of Connecticut, National Barn Dance, Dairy, Dovecote a Euro built to house pigeons, which provided variety to the diets of high-status households and a rich source of manure. Examples survive from the medieval period. Scaffold, Shed, The Wonderful Barn, Trepence Eicher, Barn Dance, Walt Disney's Carol with Barn, References. External links, Dairy Barn History, www.therebarnjournal.org, National Barn Alliance, Books About Barns, Barn Again. Program, Timber Framers Guild, Paper on Barns in Hungary, The Spanish Border is a Type of Barn or House Barn, Excellent Paper on Historic Barns. Focus on Ohio, USA, barn types and information from the Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Commission.